Hello YouTube, welcome back. GPK Forever with another video and in today's video we'll be talking about the best Garbage Pell Kids boxes you can get right now. So before we get started, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe if you already haven't. It really means a lot and thank you so much for 800 subscribers guys. We are so close to our goal of 1,000 subscribers. If you really enjoy uh, my content um, and you like to learn more about Garbage Pail Kids, it would really mean a lot if you hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, so let's get into this. But yeah, this, before anyone asks, this puzzle right here in the back, uh, me and Mr. D did build this and it's actually hanging up right over there in the uh, studio room. So that's that's an actual puzzle we did. I thought, I thought it would be cool as a cool backdrop for this video. So let's go to number 10. Number 10, we have an OS 13 series box. It sold for $600 April 13th, and it was BBCE graded. So this is what the box looks like. Keep in mind, these prices will change for sure. They're not definite, they're not set in stone. So I'll probably have to end up doing a updated video either later this year or maybe next year. So I'll try to keep it updated but this is what it's looking like right now so 13th $600 number nine is a OS 4 at 425 oh well I uh, I guess I forgot to put those back never mind this is gonna be 10 yeah okay so this is nine sorry OS 13 is nine fourth is 10 at 425 on February 22nd and again, here's a picture of the box. For those who are newly collecting in Garbage Pail Kids or just getting back in, I thought a image of the box would help if you uh, wanna go out and collect one of those. Sorry about that, guys. Then number two, the next one will be Chrome 2 at $799, pretty much $800 on April 22nd or 27th, which maybe last week? Yeah, that sounds about right. Last week, I would say. Uh, here's that box right there. It's definitely a harder box to find. I know that for sure. Not too many people bought in to Chrome 2 because of what happened with Chrome 1. But I mean, it just happens. OS 9, here we go. For $900, give or take, right? It was accept. It did accept a best offer. It was a BBCE graded box so like this one and it sold march 2nd this one i'm not too surprised why it's um on the higher end of the list because you have that semicolon in here and even the regular semicolon actually fetches a pretty penny on the market so that's definitely a good box to have so if you're getting into and in collecting it's on the higher end of the garbage pill kid scale but it's definitely a box that will hold its value for sure. That 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 is for sure. And then series three, of course, because you have the Roybot. Again, it's almost like the semicolon, but the semicolon is worth a bit more. But OS3, it's, it's the third set. It's the third one, right? Top three, third place. Uh, it's BBCE graded and it sold for 800 on march 21st and again there is a picture right there of the third series set so sapphire uh this one came out last year as you can tell uh 2020 it was a special edition right sapphire edition right here 32 cards you got special parallels you could get this one sold for 700 best offer on april 28th so again last week uh, yeah yeah that that sounds about right last week and again i'm not really surprised by this because it's first and second series quality chrome cards but better just better in every way number two or number three sorry we have the os 15th at 925 dollars that's right on april 13th so that's that's kind of crazy right there. Almost a thousand dollars. 
for a 15th series box. But 15th is technically the last Garbage Poe Kid set officially released uh, before the lawsuit happened. So 15th, again, the last one, you have the Atabomb and the uh, Asher Slasher in there. And there's a few other really good cards in here that add, that makes this set valuable. And there's not too many of these boxes. So 15th series, again, is a really good box, just like the 9th series. And again, it's on that more expensive end with 48 packs. Number, the next one is Chrome 1 at $1,000, April 19th. This one, this one's kind of self-explanatory. It's Chrome 1. Everyone wants the Super Refractor Atom Bomb. I don't know if that's been pulled yet. I don't know if anyone knows if that's been pulled yet. But, um, yeah, those Super Refractors are worth a lot of money. There was, what, a Nasty Nick PSA graded, and they're asking for, like, 50000 last time I saw for a Gem Mint 10, and it's the only one. So a Super Refractor is the only one in the world to exist. One out of one. It's like a printing plate... But this is way better because the printing plate you can get the different colors like red yellow black blue and stuff this one is absolutely one of one right some people are going to say hey sketch cards are one of one too that's right but there's multiple sketch cards of the same character they're not the exact same but you can find one of the same character maybe by the same artist or something like that so chrome one then we have the 1985 os Two box right this one right here the blue one that sold for three thousand one hundred and twenty five dollars on march 26 three thousand dollars so we jumped right we jumped from a thousand dollars with chrome one to three thousand one hundred and twenty five for chrome or uh, os2 that's a big jump that's a big jump big 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 jump and it's they're right next to each other on the list but we're gonna see a bigger jump here with number one and uh, i'm pretty sure you guys know what i'm talking about number one the holy grail if you have this this is the ultimate ultimate collector's box every garbage ball collector dreams of owning one of these bad boys and it is the 1985 OS1 Garbage Poe Kid box. This is the original box. This is what started it all. Right here is this box right here. Or the pink packs. It was a $25,000 best offer was accepted. February 16th. And it was GIA graded 9. Is who graded it, right? So it, it was a graded box. Like a graded card. $25,000. That's a quarter of a hundred thousand. That is a lot of money. A lot of money. And they spent it on a box with 48 packs graded. That's nuts. But I'm not too surprised. I'm not too surprised because the prices of garbage bulk kits have been going up so dramatically within the past easily year, right? With the, within the past year, easily, we've seen a huge increase in uh, demand for graded cards, for boxes, and all this stuff. So now, the prices are going up for everything. So, I kind of hope this video helped, right? Kind of let everyone know what, what kind of, what are the big boxes, right? If you're going to start collecting what boxes you may uh, maybe want to consider purchasing um yeah 1985 os1 if you have one great if you don't um still great just probably don't go out and spend twenty five thousand on it that uh that's gonna break the bank there for sure Unle unless you can afford it but i mean most people that'll that'll hurt that'll hurt the bank so i mean so thank you all for staying tuned um, if you don't mind, in the comments down below, uh, giving me some more ideas for more videos I can do uh, that would really help out 
I plan on doing a few more slideshows of these top 10s and maybe a few beginner videos on what a beginner uh, collector should probably think about collecting, right? And uh, maybe a few videos on tips and things like that. Those are probably what I'll do. If you have any more ideas or you want to see a, a, another top 10s list, but, you know, maybe more specific towards something or um, like graded cards or a certain, like a certain character, 